if you love Discord as a gamer or a programmer or what have you, then you're probably distressed with your search engine results when you type in Discord ads. I mean, tech news are having a field day with this. Even the Wall Street Journal, all because of the apparent shock factor. And I get it. Discord did position itself as the anti-Facebook business model. Their CEO, Jason, did an interview with NPR not that long ago, back in 2021. And NPR told Jason, hey, your users find Discord appealing in part because it is ad-free. CEO didn't deny it, and he responded, quote, We believe that people's data is their data, and that people should feel comfortable and safe to have conversations, and that their data is not going to be used against them in any way that is improper. Is that still true, Jason? <laughs> but we need to remember Discord's following the playbook. Netflix brought ads through their plans. Remember, they built their brand on the back of saying they're free of ads. That was arguably more eye-opening. Prime Video, similar story. Like Discord's not surprising here. Now, what is surprising to me, and what's actually interesting, is the public's rapid awareness of how universal the process of initiativeification actually is. Like it's in the mainstream consciousness now in ways that I didn't perceive last year, and Discord was the tipping point. Now there's a mass resignation and disappointment and users feeling betrayed that I believe deserves a toast. <laughs> because you can only affect change once enough people have had enough. So you might say, oh, Abner, open source to the rescue. There's this ecosystem called Matrix, and it's oriented around a modern open chat protocol. The, you can run your own chat server if you want to. The, their official chat app element behaves very similar to Discord. And now you have all these guarantees, too, about privacy, encryption. Like it, It's great. And I wish that were true. But it's not great. It's tragic. I run indie conferences for programmers and conferences for anyone wanting to make good software. I'm not going to define what good software means to me here, maybe in a future video. And I'm not claiming we're perfect over there either, but part of my indie brand for my indie conferences is that I'm a programmer too. And if I have the technical chops to make or adopt tech that is user-friendly and respectful towards those users, then I will do that. And so I've been using Matrix already, ever actually since the time the Discord CEO was out doing press tours pretending to care about users. And the Matrix ecosystem is, on principle, far more respectful to the users, more than Discord or Slack. But they're not friendly to them. And that's the fundamental tragedy I want to discuss in this video. On one extreme, a near-perfect, lovely-to-use service up and until the user acquisition chapter of their startup playbook is complete, of course. And other side, an open source but bloated Leviathan that's been over-engineered with no sense for product direction. The first problem in the matrix, and there's a few, starts with their official chat server, so to speak. Their reference implementation of a matrix chat server is in Python. And <laughs> Programming tools have a time and a place to be using them to channel my inner ginger bill. But Python is not the right choice for a scalable chat server. Here I am at my conference last year apologizing to the audience for performance problems. And uh, well, here we are, like three years, three and something years later. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. So uh, does anybody have, uh, I'm thinking right now, I know that there, <laughs> there are questions. I am so sorry about the slow chat server. That is something I intend to fix for next time. But I got the questions now, it's synced. <laughs> the second issue is user experience, UX. This isn't unique to Matrix. UX is the Achilles heel in open source, and it happened with Mastodon. They would have captured an impressive chunk of users leaving Twitter had they not botched their onboarding flow for new accounts. And I struggle with this with Matrix 2. Like, let's go back and hear the lead engine programmer for Insomnia Games at the Q&A session of the conference last year. But 
And yeah, if you want to have me come talk about retro bullshit next year, sure. You're always welcome at Handmade Seattle. <laughs> um, I'm going to give people's, uh, let's see, where are you? There you are. Here he is on the chat server, by the way. You can ping that person right here. <laughs> DM, right? I don't think you're going to mind Joe, people over. bothering you, right? Yeah. Hopefully that's okay. Maybe if I could figure out how to log into your stuff. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will help you during lunch hour. <laughs> that's going to haunt me for a while. I adopted Matrix. I'm responsible. I need to do better somehow. And this leads me to my third and final issue, concern, which is over-engineering. I don't want some fancy distributed graph of abstract object sending events protocol using JSON I, I, that could theoretically, in some vacuum, be used beyond typing chat messages. I, I don't care. I, I just want my basic chat functions, but, but, but without having to regress to being cavemen with IRC. What's worse is that any chat service that's ostensibly of good quality has the tendency, even if it's open source, to undergo and certification. I remember looking at the uh, Mattermost website because Mattermost was seen as a cool Slack alternative and it seemed promising at the time. And now their website, what it has is a big contact sales button. <laughs> like, you can't even really tell that easily that it's a chat application anymore. Like, it's, it's weird. Like, what is Mattermost now? And look, there's nothing wrong with wanting to make money. And personally, I don't care if the product's closed source or not. The disease spreads from deceptive tactics with the goal of satisfying greed at all costs, which is impossible to satisfy, obviously. Like, this philosophy of maximizing profits needs to be replaced. Like, profits should matter, but so should pride in engineering excellence and being loved by your users. So if you've never heard of me before, I am a bit of an elusive public figure, at least online. Uh, my name is Abner Coimbre. You can call me Abner in English, that's fine. I grew up obsessed with computers to the point that NASA took notice and offered me an internship, which I clung to for dear life. I worked hard and won Kennedy's Intern of the Year Award, promoted to employee, and then won another award at the time, Kennedy's Top 10 Innovators. And I was beginning to be seen as a poster boy for how NASA built software. If you Google NASA's coding philosophy, the first result is my essay published by the mainstream press. And after that, it's just one lucky streak after another. I worked on the Jonathan Blow for a few years until I graduated to senior engineer at Cyan Worlds, which is the studio behind the Myst games. Throughout this time, I've observed the software industry's proper concern for quality or ethics being systematically eliminated from business practices. And I don't think I can live with myself if I think I can make a difference. So I joined this kind of resistance called the handmade movement. And I'm seen as their social butterfly and I run conferences, I run meetups, anything in person to celebrate the kind of software we want to see in the world. And over the years, I've amassed this massive newsletter, which lets me stay independent and full-time for the past couple of years now without having to be a slave to YouTube's incentives or Twitch's or social media and stuff like that. Like, don't build your castle in other people's kingdoms. Of course, please like, subscribe. The extra mile would be to join my newsletter at handmadecities.com slash news. I also stream occasionally on Twitch. It's a personal side project. I'm programming a terminal emulator, rethinking it from scratch. And finally, back to the Discord and Matrix and stuff. Like, if you know of any chat service that would eat their lunch and I'm just not aware of it, put it in the comments. I must know.